Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 12 of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's problem. 1519, number of nodes in the subtree with the same label. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. And let's take a look at this problem. Seems like we're getting a, a couple of couple of tree problems today. Uh, <laughs> the ratio is a little sad, so we'll see what the problem is. So you're giving a tree, we know what a tree is, maybe. Um, with n minus 1 edges, okay, the root of the tree is node 0, and each node of the tree has a label, which is a lower case given the string labels. Uh, what does that mean? Okay, so it's just the index corresponding. You could have just, eh, okay, fine. Um, and again, this is not a binary tree, it seems like, just to kind of, even though this one, they drew it as a binary tree, but you could see that this is not a binary tree in the other one. Uh, okay. Yes, this is an edge list. Describe it. We turn a way of size n where n to sub i is the number of nodes in the subtree of i which has the same label uh, as node i. Okay, so that means that zero would contain all the a's, um, twos would contain all the b's, and so forth. Mm. I think this one has. So you could do it in two ways. I think it depends on whether you care about time more or space more. Um, yeah, uh, and what I mean by that is that the, uh, one way you can do it is, of course, just do 26 steps for search, right? One for each character. And then the, so that would be the time, uh, the one that you pay for in time, because that would be linear space. Um, the other one, I mean, I guess the other one is linear space as well, but the other one you can do is just return say, an array of 26 elements, and then you keep on merging, right? That will also be linear space, but it'll be 26 times n. So, yeah. So, in both cases, it'll probably take... Um, and even then, in that case, technically, the time is also... I mean, I guess, yeah... Yeah, the time is also 26 times n or whatever, because that's the... Technically, when you return and then you do copy and stuff like that, it'll be all of 26 anyway, right? So, yeah, so I, both solutions are probably okay. I'm curious, I'm giving it 10 as you go to, uh, or, or n as you go to 10 to the fifth. It may be a little bit slow because the code doesn't, uh, the code does not have love for Python, so that's where I feel a little sketch, but it should be okay. Like, even uh, if not, maybe that that's where the downward is coming from. I don't know. I don't get where the downward is coming from, though. I mean, it's not. It seems pretty straightforward, per se. Um, if a little bit annoying, <laughs> but all right, let's let's think about it. Uh, or let's let's start implementing it as we said. Um, I'm going to do. I mean, you'll see what I do. Uh, but I am going to create an adjacency list first. Default. What default? List okay, yeah, and this is just way standard uh, adjacency list doing so that basically for index u we get a list of uh, things that it is connected to, right? Okay, so then now, um, kind of a little bit thirsty, I wish I kind of got a little bit water beforehand, but let's see if I could power through. Uh, okay, so then now we just do a recursion on, is it always zero is the root node? The root of the tree is the node zero. Okay, so yeah, so then you do maybe something like, you know, eh, let's just go traverse. I think I'm going to see, right? Um, zero, right? Yeah. And that's pretty much it. And then maybe you can return an answer after that. Uh, <laughs> I just like the way that I said, like, oh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, the 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 easy part is done. The hard part is done, and now you just have to fill in the code, right? Now, um, but yeah, but then now, so basically, we get the current. We don't even have to get the label quite yet. We could just um, for we in node, and of course, this is a tree, so we don't want we don't go for parent as same thing we did yesterday. Um, definitely check that out. I think the same idea anyway. Uh, if we is not equal to parent. Well, let's go with child. I, I use we a lot because of the u we notation um, that comes up in graph theory a lot uh, for edges. That's just a shorthand. Um, but yeah, so basically we have uh, traverse child and the node is the parent. We, what, we, what do we return? We return a list of 
um, 26 things. So maybe I call it F for frequency, and then maybe like a current F for current frequency, which is still times 26. Oops. And then here, then just for I in range of 26, uh, F of I for current F, of I we increment by that maybe there's a thing where and then we return current F and of course we do uh, is equal to current F of um, mm, what was it label sub no uh, minus old of a right it's lowercase yep um, and that should be mostly good except for we didn't do the base case of incrementing so yeah so here we would have i guess this thing uh does it include itself i guess so because the answer all contains one okay um mm, oh whoops why did i write it that way hmm oh mm, what Assignment. Oh, 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 did I? If I do anything weird. Oh, whoops. Why do I do it like this? I'm pretty much quite none, so that if we don't traverse for some reason, but what's it? Labels? Oh, actually, they give you an. As you know, I like big ends, so. Um, okay. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, let's just give it some. The only thing I worry about is maybe TLE, but it seems like it's okay. TLE being time limit exceeded. But obviously it seems okay, 10, 17 day, day streak. I'm really tired today. I did my gym day a little bit, or my gym portion a little bit late. Um, so I'm not gonna do an extra one. But like I said before, and this is what most people should do, to be honest, which is, um, you know, think about, and maybe I, I explain it in a different order, but um, what you should normally do is obviously know the complexity and uh, before you implement it. Uh, sometimes you can explore things if you, on sure and that's fine part of learning is exploration and playing around different things and try to see how, how things gel together and and also like um figuring out what doesn't work is also important but um you know what if you're in the business of actually solving things and not just learning then um you know preemptively figuring out is a little bit good and here it's like i said it's going to be o of alpha times n space and o of alpha times n time right uh, you could is explicit here in the for loop here um yeah and you may you know you may um i think the one thing that i always say for this one is that you know you have a function there's you know you're gonna call it once for each node but you but but there's a for loop there right there's a for loop there uh isn't this n square or something like that instead of just all of n well no because the answer is going to be that um i mean the the short answer is amortization but but you can think about it as what, you know, um, because you can call each node at most once because this is a tree. That means that this function call will happen only once as a parent. And that means that this will only happen once per thing, right? Uh, per node. And so, yeah, so this is going to be all of alpha times n because we do a follow up here for, for time and space. Yeah. Um, because we allocate stuff on, we allocate 26 things on the stack and it could be 20, you know, or alpha things in the stack. Um, yeah, another way that you can think about the, all these edge lists is, is that, you know, well, what are the, uh, uh, you know, uh, E1 is the number of edges that, or E0, I suppose, is, e, um, uh, is the number of edges going out of E1 or node 1 plus E1 plus E2, the number of edges going out of node 2, uh, node 3, node 4, dot, 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 right? And this is going to be O of N, or if you want to say, uh, the total number of edges is e, which is n minus one, which is O of n, right? So th in that way, you know that this for loop, if you want to sum up all the uh, edges together, will only be O of n. So that's basically why this is, um, even though you know, if you're um, still still learning amortization, this is one way to kind of think about it and how you would get from, you know, like the two for or, or there's a function of for loop. Why is this, you know, not n square right so yeah uh hopefully you'll play around with that a little bit more i'm so tired friends uh that's all i have for today uh let me know what you think stay good stay healthy to good mental health uh have a good rest of the week i'll see you later and yeah goodbye and take care bye bye